G'day and welcome. Thanks for tuning in again. Um, today I've started the trip off in Silverton. I just had my birthday a couple of days ago and when we have big birthdays, look, I'm 40 now, I'm an, I'm an old fart. Um, we sometimes come to Silverton, Joe's had a 30th birthday here at dinner. So just out of tradition, I thought I'd come. Um, but this time I did come by myself because Joe's is pregnant with our second one and she doesn't feel like traveling and the little fella's a bit too young to come this far out without his mum. So, I'm not going to show you around Silverton because I've already shown you that. Um, so I'm going to take you um, up to, uh, where are we going? Mungo National Park. So I can show you around there and the walls of China. Um, and as you can see behind me, I've taken the caravan with me, even though it is a solo trip. Uh, I got a bit soft on this trip, but now nah, I pinched the nerve in my neck or something, and I didn't really know if it was going to come 100% or not. So I had to set up a rooftop tent and that. It is easy, but with a crook neck, I don't know. So I brought some luxuries with me, it makes it a bit easier. Anyway, uh, what was I going to say? I just ate, I just had dinner at the Silverton Hotel and now I'm going to head out to a free camp somewhere I don't know where I was going to stay at Pimrose Park here which I have numerous times in the past but I think I'm just going to start heading out a little bit and just get a free camp probably on the other side of Broken Hill that's the plan see where we end up anyway let's go I stayed at Penrose Park in Silverton for the night didn't really do much just relax that's why I didn't grab the camera out uh, but now I'm on my way down to uh, Mungo National Park, but I went the back way uh, So I'm in Menindi now. I just stopped for some breakfast slash lunch um, by a river here Now going to continue on to Mungo National Park. Beautiful spot, really great for an overnighter um, or a camp close to town. Really nice, and I don't know how far up or down it goes, but it seems like it goes a fair way along the river, so plenty of spots. Anyway, let's go to Mungo. Just turned off the highway from Menindi on the Top Hut Road. It's open, the part road's open. Okay, sign just saying no petrol and heading into Mungo National Park. The drive's been easy, most of it's been dirt road, but real easy going, nothing major. And I'm just looking, excuse me, I'm just looking at the GPS now. the quickest way to main campground. Fifty-eight Ks away. What time is it? Quarter to five. And as I said, I've just been cruising. Nothing major. I let down the tire pressures. This road's a bit bumpier than the main road. Um, I'd let them down to 28 on the front, 38 on the rear, and 34 or 35 on the caravan, just to take the edge off. And you know what? They worked really, really well. On this road here, I'm not going to go much quicker than I'm going now, 80 k's. So I think that should be right as well. But if it gets much worse, I will take some more air out. Now one thing to note also, this road is closed when it rains, when it's wet. The big sign at the front. Anyway, off to main campground. Now, one other thing, uh, you never, as far as I know, you never used to have to pre-book your sites. But now, because of what's going on, you need a pre-book. So they've got all your details and pay, I think it was 20, 24 odd dollars per night. I've booked it for two nights because I'd like to do some work here as well. Uh, edit the last video if I can. 
Anyway, let's see how we go. Okay, made it to the caravan park, uh, the camping site at Mungo National Park, uh, the main camp. It is pretty chockers actually. Um, when I booked it said there was only one site left, um, which look, there are a couple, but obviously all the larger good ones are gone. So lucky I found this one, which is decent size, but it just took a bit of maneuvering to actually get it in and still connected to the car. So let me show you. A nice sunset happening over there. Those sites over there are spectacular, which I'm booked in for two nights and I stayed hitched up. Just in case someone leaves tomorrow morning, I can take it. So, put it there. Basically, jackknife the car. Okay, look at that. And I'm all inside the perimeter of the campsite. So, good to go. All right, now I'm just gonna level out the van using the airbags, which it actually looks half all right. I think the back needs to come down a little bit. And it needs to go drive the side down a little bit. So, let's organize that. about right yeah should be right yeah, let's set up all set up and just getting some dinner ready tonight some sausages just because it's quick and easy caviar dip cheese and that's it just make a couple of hot dogs sausages watching Ruthie, low range. Perfection. <laughs> okay, now I've eaten. I've, I've, lit, I've finished watching the movie, met a couple of the people here, some more Victorians from Whittlesea. Um, had a bit of a chat, and now just kicking back, relaxing. I don't have an actual fire pit here, and I don't want a lot of fire on the floor, so they're on the barbecue over two levels. And because it's enclosed, the heat's coming out this way, so I don't need a lot of fire. Anyway, gonna relax here for another 15 20 minutes and go inside have a shower I might even start doing some some work on a video editing see how we go I didn't sleep very much last night for some reason last night was the first night I can remember actually that I just kept waking up every hour I don't know why but as I said that's the first time in that I can remember ever I'm sure there has been other times, but I just can't remember them. So, I'll say goodnight now. Um, unless something happens, um, I'll grab the camera out again. If not, good night. I'll see you in the morning. Good morning. Just woke up. Um, about 6.30. Late sunrises around here. 
Normally the sun would be up, I reckon. But all good. I had a really good night's sleep last night. I guess I made up for the night before. It's a bit fresh out here too. Just getting a fire started. And the sunrise is just happening. How beautiful is that? I hope you can see me. I don't know if it's bright enough or not. But yeah. It's gonna make myself a warm milk coffee and kick back by the fire when it starts. <laughs> She's getting there. Now I've just been relaxing by the fire and obviously sunrise is happening. And some bloke has got his alarm on his phone. I don't know if you can hear it. Well, that's been going on for the past probably 20 minutes or so. Obviously, he's not waking up, but it's waking up everyone else. The things you see everywhere. Anyway, it's going to relax another probably five, ten minutes, and then time to get some breakfast happening. Um, probably bacon and eggs for this morning. I think that'll do. And my little fire's coming along nicely. No point in making a real massive fire because I don't really need it. Oh, and there's the sun coming through. Beautiful. I'll take it down to the shearing quarters today, the um, walls of China. Very nice place if you haven't been to Mungo National Park. I recommend you come down, have a look. You can really get that feeling of outback, outback Australia beautiful just cooking my breakfast some bacon and eggs <coughs> getting the bacon done Got the eggs now I've actually turned the stove and the sink around Lotus had them facing in ways but when the awnings out you couldn't actually get in there to use it now you can remove the leg and have it freestanding so I got all the room there but it's just an extra thing that I really didn't want to do so I spun the burner around, spun the sink around, at least this way. When I'm with the wife and kids, or even just the kids, um, they can play here, and I can keep an eye on them. I don't have my back to them, so. Productive morning. Anyway, I'll finish cooking these, have some breakfast, and then go have a look around Mungo National Park. This is the Mungo Lookout. Kinda gives you an idea of Mungo National Park. Let's go in for a closer look. Absolutely beautiful. A lot of nothing. And I don't know if you're coming out on there, you can see where the cars are coming down, so where the track is. You can drive all the way around. Let's go for a drive. <laughs> 